Hey guys, welcome back to another week of What's for Dinner. My name is Andrea with Foodimentary Adventures in Food. And in my household, there's me, my husband, and our one-year-old little boy. This week, we are kicking off another week of What's for Dinner with a new recipe. It is tortellini carbonara. So in my skillet here, I have some bacon um, that I have fried up. And to it, I am adding some heavy whipping cream. And this is gonna be so good. So traditionally in a carbonara, it has the raw egg that you toss with pasta. This does not have any egg in it at all. So I guess it's not really a carbonara, but it sounds really good. So I've got my heavy whipping cream in there. Gonna add some parsley. And some grated Parmesan. Gonna give that a stir. And I've already prepared my tortellini, and it is um, this from um, this package from Aldi, and it was a dollar nineteen, which is a steal. So I'm gonna let this melt down just a little bit. Okay, so the cheese has melted, and now I'm just going to add my tortellini that I've already prepared. And I'm just going to let this warm all the way through. So here it is, and Howard and I tried it, and it is so good. I mean, really, how could anything with bacon and cheese be bad? This is delicious. I will definitely be making this again. And with it, we are just having a side of garlic bread, and this is from Tom Thumb. I already threw away the box, um, but it's their brand, and we buy it all the time. It's so good. And then we are having a chopped Caesar salad kit with it, and it is from Aldi. Here it is in the bowl. And then this is it. And we really like these a lot as well. So anyway, this is what we are having for dinner tonight. And we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, I took the easy route and I grabbed some stuff from our freezer that we needed to use up anyway. So we are having these fish sticks from Trader Joe's. I popped them into my air fryer. And then we are also having this mac and cheese from Trader Joe's. This is probably my favorite frozen mac and cheese um, of all time. And um, this box has two servings in it. So Howard and I are splitting it. And then I also made some frozen corn. The frozen corn is from Sam's and it is members marked version. It's the kind that comes in the big bag and it has about six bags, I think, of frozen corn. You can pop them in the microwave and steam them, which is what I did, or you can cook it on the stove top. So this is my second time making this corn. The first time I did make it on the stove top, this time I did steam it. And to me, it's not my favorite corn because it's not very sweet. So I probably would not buy this again. But anyway, this is what we are having for dinner tonight, and we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, I am making some roasted chicken and homemade mashed potatoes, and I thought I would pop on really quickly and show you how I make my mashed potatoes. So in my pot, I have um, two pounds of um, potatoes that I cubed and I boiled in heavily salted water. And then to that, I am adding one cup of warm, heavy whipping cream. I just warmed it up in the microwave. And then I'm also going to add in a half a stick of unsalted butter that's also softened and at room temperature. And then I am just going to mash away. All right, guys, and that's it. That's all there is to it. Now, if you want, you can add in some pepper, but Howard's not a big black pepper fan, so I probably won't add that in. If you wanna add in additional salt, you can. But again, like I said, I heavily salted my potato water, so um, I don't need any of that. So let me get everything plated up, and I will show you our plates. So I have pulled the chicken out of the oven. These are two humongous leg quarters and I just roasted them and so here they are. And then with it, we are having these creamed green beans that I picked up from Trader Joe's. And let me grab the box. Here is 
what the box looks like. Howard and I just tried them and they're really not that great. I mean, I could have skipped these. Um, they are cheesy, but there's not much flavor, not much to them at all. And then of course, here are the mashed potatoes that I made as well. So one thing I think I may have forgotten to mention when I was making the mashed potatoes is that you do wanna make sure that your butter is at room temperature and that your whipping cream is warm as well because when you use cold ingredients on um, these warm potatoes, they can seize up. And when your ingredients are warm, that makes the potatoes nice and fluffy. So anyway, this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, I decided to use up some stuff for my pantry and I had this in my pantry. It's new to us, we haven't tried it before. You can make it with sausage, um, chicken or seafood and I had a big bag of shrimp in my freezer that I needed to use so that is what we're using and so I am serving it with a scoop of jasmine rice on top and some um, green onions. Howard and I tried it and we're not crazy about it. It's okay. Um, it has a really um, strong seafood taste and it's not from the shrimp. I think it's from the from the roux. Um, I probably wouldn't purchase it again, but again, I'm just using up stuff in my pantry. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, I am making chicken cordon bleu pot pie. This is a recipe that I made up. Howard and I aren't big fans of the traditional pot pies with the peas and the carrots because we don't like peas and carrots. So I came up with this recipe. So let me show you what you're going to need. You are going to need some chicken, some broccoli, some ham, potatoes, Swiss cheese, and some Alfredo sauce. Now I happen to have the basil Alfredo sauce in my pantry, plain works just fine. So let's get started. Okay, so in my bowl, I'm adding my chicken and broccoli. Now broccoli is not part of the traditional dish, but I like it so I can add some bulk to the pot pie. Traditionally, chicken cordon bleu is a chicken breast with ham and Swiss cheese. So, but I'm gonna add some broccoli. And like I said, this is a recipe that I made up, so I will um, add the recipe in the description box and I'm gonna add my ham. The ham I had left over from Thanksgiving and I just pan fried it to brown it up and get rid of some of the moisture in it. And I'm going to add in my Swiss cheese. And this is grated Swiss cheese. And then I'm going to add in a potato. I just have one medium potato here. Like I said, potatoes aren't traditional to this, but I just like it for the bulk. Oops. And I'm going to add my Alfredo sauce. I don't add any additional salt to this because there's enough in the ham and the Alfredo sauce, and that's enough for us. All right guys, so now I'm going to put the filling into the pie crust. So I did par-bake my bottom pie crust. I am using this pie crust from Aldi. I've never used it before. Typically I stick with Pillsbury, but someone told me this is really good, so I'm gonna give it a try. So I par-baked it for about 15 minutes, and now I'm gonna add in the filling. All right, so I'm gonna pop this in the oven for about an hour, hour, 25 minutes, whenever it's golden brown. And of course, I will bring you guys back when it's finished. So here is the pot pie. It ended up baking this for about an hour and 10 minutes, let it cool for about 15 minutes. And I cut out a slice so that you could see the inside. So here it is. And here is a piece on the plate. I will say I did try the pie crust and I definitely prefer the Pillsbury pie crust. Um, to me, the Pillsbury pie crust is a little bit flakier, um, has a little bit of a sweeter kind of taste to it. 
Um, this was okay. I don't think I'd buy it again. I don't think. So anyway, this is what we are having for dinner tonight, and we'll see you guys next time.